In today's video and the final video of the year that is, I wanna show you guys on how you can make a savings tracker in Google Sheets. So that way you can start tracking your savings on your next upcoming big purchase, whether it's you know months down the line or years down the line. And I'll show you guys how to make all this in under 11 minutes. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, so here I am on a new Google Sheets document. Now, the first thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start at row 10 here. The reason being is I'm gonna give some space on the top to put my charts and later put my title. What should we put down? Well, I wanna put down a start date to mark down when I started saving my money. I wanna put a deadline, kind of like, hey, when should I get all my money saved by, right? You want a realistic deadline. Uh, you gotta put a total goal as in like how much you're trying to save overall in general. Total save to kind of track how much you've actually saved. Amount remaining. We would just want a progress percentage here, progress number to kind of just track maybe your 20% of the way there, 50%, 70%. And then the most important one actually is amount to save monthly, okay? So we're gonna type a formula here later that will actually calculate how much you need to save every month or you know every week. It depends on how you wanna do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and go one uh, row down here, just giving it a little spacer. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the right to column B now and type in date and of course put the amount down. So for A actually, this column, the reason why I left it here is because I'm gonna shrink it and I'm gonna go ahead and select the whole row. If you select the A here, you're selecting the, or the whole column, I mean. You can just go ahead and hit control and click and drag the amount that you wanna deselect. So you're just basically making a deselection here. And I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way down to this like date and amount, right? So when I let go of that click and drag, again, holding control, uh, it's gonna just select all the stuff that's uh, below whatever I selected, okay? Now what you can do is again, do the same thing, hit insert, hit checkbox. And uh, exactly what we did here is we just created a good amount of checkboxes underneath uh, this header here. You can just go ahead and hit bold here. I'm just selecting the row, hit control B, and you can go ahead and just kind of increase the font size a little bit. So maybe about 13 or 14. Um, and then the date, what I can do here is if I go to column B, now I'm selecting column B, I'm gonna hit format, I'm gonna do number, and I'm gonna go ahead and do date, okay? So very, very important. You wanna you know, make sure that everything is formatted to a date. And then the amount, okay, the amounts, you can just select it and format it into currency, dollar amount, right? So very, very uh, important here. We're just formatting everything into a uh, dollar amount. So uh, with that being said, we can just go ahead and fill in our formulas. So for example, the start date, you can you know put today or uh, you know tomorrow. There's actually a formula that you could do that is equal to day. And you actually put down, so you just wanna put start date and deadline into a date format. So go ahead and do more formats here. You can do format number, or you can do more formats here and do uh, date, okay? So then that becomes today's uh, date, obviously, not in dollar amounts. Um, and the deadline, you can put whenever you want. So for example, you wanted to set it five years from now. So I could do that, 12, 16, 20, 30, for example. So let's just say you're trying to save up $10,000, okay? Maybe you're trying to buy a car, a uh, used car maybe, that's $10,000. I don't know cars are going for 10,000, but. So how do we count total save, okay? We actually want to count if, let's just say we have 150 or 200, right? Total save is actually going to be an equal sign, sum if, right? And then we're gonna do opening parentheses. Uh, what are we summing if? Well, if this column here, is true comma true so if we if we're checking it as in like we're paying off our savings every single time every month and we're true to our schedule then you want to what sum up this amount on c okay so basically it's saying that hey so you can see there's zero here because i didn't check any of these amounts but if we start checking them you can see there's 150 now we have 350 so as, long as, as soon as you start checking these it will uh, automatically populate that okay now the amount remaining is very very simple obviously you're going to do an equal sign of the total goal subtracted by your total save. So obviously if you didn't pay anything, you have the full amount remaining, you start making payments, you can see that your amount remaining is um, reducing, okay? Progress number, you can just do equals to total saved divided by total goal. And when you hit enter, uh, it becomes a dollar symbol and you could just format that to a percent here on the top to make sure that you're creating a percentage. Now you can see that, hey, you're you know 3.5% there to your goal. Now, the very, very important formula that I like is I'm gonna just even bolt this, is the amount to save monthly, okay? So you need to know how much realistically you need to save a month. There's gonna be equal sign. Uh, we're gonna get our total goal, all right? Whatever goal you wanna save for. You wanna divide it by, and what, what do you divide it by? You wanna do a dated if, so dated if. So it's gonna be a date difference, okay? You're dividing by the difference of these dates. The start date, 
and comma the deadline okay now when you hit another comma here you can actually type define like what uh unit is it you want months you want weeks you want days again this is very flexible right i'm gonna do a col uh, quotation mark here and do m m is for month and it will divide it by you know however many months uh, there are uh, in between these dates. So just go ahead and close it off and hit the closing parentheses, hit enter, and you can see here that I'm gonna you know open this a little bit. I need to save $166.67 every single month. So with this amount, again, you can stay disciplined and you could pay you know that much every single month. And if you want to do that, you can just put it in the amount and just drag it you know all the way down, and it becomes consistently 166.67. Okay. Um, and for the date, if you want to make it every month, again, uh, you can do, you can type in today. So 12, 16, 25, you could do one 16. And then this is 2026. Now the new year. Um, and then you can just go ahead and select these two, drag it all the way down. And what happens is that it starts creating a month. Uh, it starts incrementing it by a month every single time. And then from then on, you can just start going ahead and checking this at the end of every month to kind of track your progress for your savings. Now, now you're almost done. The next thing that I want to do is that I want to just title and create a header. So for example, I'm making this monthly savings. I'm going to go ahead and just select this and just merge the cells. Okay. And then I'm going to select the bottom one to merge the cells as well. So you can just go ahead and bold this. You can go ahead and center align it and, you know, make it format it however you want. So um, we could do brand new car, for example, right? Uh, I'm going to bold it. I'm going to, again, do the same thing. And then I'm going to just leave it like that. The reason why I put monthly savings is you could, again, make it daily, make it weekly, whatever you want. And then the cool thing is that I could start visualizing it by adding a chart. So I'm going to go ahead and hit insert. Go ahead and go to chart here. And it may not know what it's trying to populate. Maybe it does, but you can go ahead and just uh, change the chart type here to a donut chart. It, it just kind of looks like a progress part of me and I like this uh, this way better. So I like the donut chart. And when you're at the donut chart, you want to change the data range here. And here's what you want to exactly do. You want to just remove whatever is already pre-filled in there since it, you know the computer doesn't really know what you're trying to do. And then hit control on your keyboard and just hold it. And you want to select these two total uh, saved and amount remaining. So select that and then select these two right here directly next to it. They should be side by side. And again, sometimes it has the D3 in it. It's not accurate. Just delete that and hit OK. And then once you start adding the little amounts here on the left, you can see here that there is a total saved and there's an amount remaining. OK, now you can go ahead and just kind of squeeze this in here kind of like this. And then there you go. Perfect. So now that you have that, you can go ahead and change, you know, the, the amount of color, the um, the sizing of these like little legends. You can even make them a little bit bigger, right? To, you know, so that way they, it could spell everything out. It could just expand everything like this. Um, if you want to access the formatting on the chart, you could just double click the chart, go to customize and go to chart style. For example, you can change the borders. You could change the slice of this. So color red is like, you know, that's not done yet or I could do like a light green and then the one that I have saved I'm gonna do like a darker green so that way I can like visualize it and every time I make a check you can see that the uh, you know the the chart kind of just grows you could change the color of uh, the cells here you could change the color of the font um, completely flexible and the great part about this is that you can also just copy and paste this okay so what you can do is I'm just going to go ahead and drag this all the way down to maybe about like the first to three rows here of the um, savings that I have. I'm going to do control C and then I, I can just go to, you know, column E or column D, whatever I want and hit control V. So I'm pasting the amount and everything here should already add up and the formula should translate already. So if I'm unchecking these, you can see that they're being unchecked here. And you know you could change this to about a twenty thousand dollar goal if you want. Uh, however, you want to adjust this, and the amount to save will already adjust automatically. The only thing that you need to manually adjust is you know the amount here. So you can do three 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 point three three. And the reason being is that because again you're very flexible in terms of setting the amount and how much you save per month. So you just need to drag everything back out like so. You can go ahead and just copy and paste this chart as well. So I'm going to select this chart. Control C, Control V again. And right now, if you just copy and pasted it like this, it's still pulling data from this, from these numbers. So what you wanna do is you wanna double click that and make sure that your range, you're selecting the data range, remove the old one right here. So just remove all this old one and do the same thing. Just add another range. Uh, and you wanna do this right here, total goal, right? And total save, uh, or total save that amount remaining. And then you wanna do this one right here, okay? 
and that's you know eng so we can just get rid of d10 to c16 we can just get rid of this empty one hit okay and as you can see here it should work okay so you may need to add more checkboxes here in column e okay it depends how you want to do it but you can just do again the same thing insert checkbox play around with the formatting a little bit in terms of the cell sizing uh every time you make a new one of these uh these categories but again once you start checking it you can see that it starts filling up over here and everything just works with uh copy paste and this one maybe you're doing a brand new house i don't know whatever uh you're saving okay so with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you guys find the video useful. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys all in the next year and in the next video.